Hi everyone. So uh, I came here at Google I/O Connect in Bangalore, and uh, I got a chance to meet Manish, who is director uh, of DeepMind India, and I got a chance to ask him some questions and chat around. So, firstly, Manish, thank you so much for your time here, uh, because I know you have been very busy today and uh, you still spared some time. So, first of all, thank you for oh, that. Thank you, buddy. For <laughs> thank, you, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you so much. So yeah, so Manish, I have some questions around AI, which my audience would be very interested, in, and especially yeah. uh, I am also very interested in knowing some of the answers. And uh, if they come from a person like you, I think we all will be enlightened. So let's uh, start with my first question, which is, uh, what do you think? How will AI change the way people work, and specifically the developers work in the next ten years? How will it change? Yeah, so I think AI will change everything. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you can start with some very simple thing, right? So already mm -hmm. today, when you're let's say doing any coding, okay. you can see already there are AI-based assistants, right? That can dramatically speed up your productivity, Absolutely. right? They can help you. They can come up with suggestions. Yeah. You just need to describe at a high level, and AI yeah. will suggest code code for you. Mm -hmm. It can help you debug problems. Correct, correct. I mean, we announced this two million uh, context token context window, yeah. which allows you to throw so much of code right at the yeah. Gemini model and it will help you yeah. identify various problems with it. But to me, that is only like a like a superficial way okay. because AI, I think just the kind of problems that you previously would have thought of as science fiction, mm -hmm. AI is, is going to enable that kind oh. of a functionality. So, so the kind of problems that previously developers might not have even dared yes. try and solve, I think they will be able to attack those kind okay. of problems. So, I think that will be the more profound change for developers. Amazing. So, tackle problems that you previously didn't even think okay. would have been possible to solve. Yeah, I mean, who thought of flying in aeroplanes long back when early humanity stage? Yeah, yeah, you are right. So, yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, so next question um, is around, uh, can you uh, share some successful case studies where AI has made a significant impact? And specifically to light on some of the case studies where you think that this particular industry can be revolutionized with AI. Uh, tell us about some of your experiences there. Yeah, so, so I would say like already we have seen like things like Google search, right, that people uh -huh. use and so on. Mm -hmm. They have been powered by AI. Uh, and and over the years, right, we have kind of really made it very easy for people to find answers and so on. But I think what is coming is going to be completely at a different level. Correct. Uh, so I'm personally very, very excited about how AI is going to transform things like learning, okay. how we all learn, yeah. how it's going to transform healthcare. Uh, again, which is again very relevant for India as a country. Correct. We have such a severe shortage of trained doctors in any field. Uh, and and I believe again, AI is going to lead the way in terms of healthcare becoming much more proactive, much more consumer driven, where mm -hmm. through AI based kind of nudges and so on, right? Mm -hmm. We all are nudged to leave, lead healthier lives mm -hmm. and we get early signs of warning, right, about mm -hmm. risk factors that we may be at and and, and mm -hmm. get early warning, right, to go and consult a doctor. So I think it is pretty much going to impact. Uh, our team has been doing a lot of work also in agriculture, which has been yeah. a relatively untouched area. Correct. But by analyzing satellite imagery, right, and building AI mm -hmm. model, we're able to solve some of the more foundational problems in agriculture, like mm -hmm. identifying field boundaries, identify what is being grown and so on. Uh -huh. Because through those, you can start to build foundational layers to build solutions like how do you provide access to loan for farmers, Correct. Uh, reasonably priced crop insurance, mm -hmm. as well as do the subsidy, all of the subsidy programs and advisory to farmers, right, in a much more precise manner. Correct, correct. Amazing, yeah. Uh, so, uh, my another question is around uh, your advice for budding software developers in this AI era, specifically the ones who don't have a lot of initial resources. What is your advice to all those developers? Yeah, so my first and foremost advice would be uh, uh, take care of your fundamentals because Correct. AI is ultimately, a lot of it is based on math. Okay. Uh, so Correct. some of those fundamentals about linear algebra, probability, statistics, decent, uh, yeah. optimization, right? It's good to, to uh, educate yourself right on some of the basics mm -hmm. because when that model that you're using 
fails sometimes you have to go back to the basics right to be able to really solve the problem the other advice i would say is uh, a don't be overwhelmed by technology but at the same time commit to lifelong learning okay none of us kind of the technology is all be evolving at such a fast pace that yeah. none of us can say oh i've learned enough uh, i picked up enough skills and now i'm all set for life you have to keep learning and exploring learning, all the time right Correct. throughout your life so yeah. i would say focus on the fundamentals and commit to lifelong learning as the primary advice i would say yeah amazing i think the fundamentals one i also totally strong very strongly agree with that because i didn't initially started with the fundamentals and the moment i switch back to fundamentals when you start with that the two uh, node neural network you start you know understanding what all these llms and transformers are about how these models are working so yeah great advice uh, my next question is around uh, the recent gemma 2 variant which has exceptionally beat the other open source counterparts my question uh, about that model would be that model really crushed all the open source the other models what do you think made it happen is it the data that google has is it, is it the technique or is it something else i would like to know yeah, so more about it so first of all i mean i i think of all of us google other companies and so on really developing as ultimately very healthy for the ecosystem yeah, so i do family. not like to think in terms of crushing somebody i think it's it's nice to have that healthy yeah, competition yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah, wonderful yeah. to see so many different companies yeah. developing these open models so so we are investing a lot right in various mm-hmm. kinds of techniques right different mm-hmm. kinds of innovative architecture right which mm-hmm. are able to take advantage of whatever the data that we have right and really solve these problems in a fundamentally more scalable manner so there's a lot of work that we are doing on that okay. right including there's been a lot of work uh, uh-huh. both at google and elsewhere on things like mixture of experts right how do you mm-hmm. exploit sparsity in these methods and so on uh so so one is a lot of architectural work right and how do you build uh and then of course uh there's a lot of work happening in terms of after you do the pre training of these models how do you do better like uh supervise fine tuning of these uh methods and then all of the rlhf right the human feedback that you get and kind of you you uh get these uh, models to become more aligned right with human values with with kind of human preferences and so on and do the right thing right for the human users so so it's a very very exciting uh, field and now we see all of these like agentic capabilities being developed right on top of these llms which is again a very very exciting area so so really looking forward to the entire like research community right continuing to advance the frontiers yeah. and and hopefully all of our users all of our developers and users ultimately benefiting yeah a lot is yet to come yeah. uh, obviously so yeah so uh, my last question is around vertex ai so we know about uh, vertex ai and we know how it is revolutionizing the way people build apps even people who never thought that they will learn coding are building apps using vertex ai using the models switching different models and uh, tr- doing training and testing how do you think would it impact the developer industry because if everybody can make models using vertex ai then eventually uh, that the work the kind of work that developers were was we're doing is shifted towards all these uh, uh, professions i i would say what is your take on that yeah yeah so i would say a i mean the developers have a very keen key role to play in even picking the right problems right in a lot of these problems understanding the domain and understanding even which are the right problems to solve that's a very important correct decision correct. right that you have to make and mm-hmm. there's a lot of intellectual in some sense mm-hmm. uh 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 Uh, input right that goes correct, into correct. Uh, determining that mm-hmm. so so i think right from like and and as i said as these ai models become more powerful i think the sky is the limit right in terms of the kind of problems that you can you can solve so mm-hmm. i think we should in some sense uh, not think of it as ai versus human but really think of ai plus human correct how do we use these ai models right to augment the human capability and help us tackle much tougher problems mm-hmm. and and in a far more productive manner mm-hmm. and with with much lower cost right for development correct correct 
Yeah, nice. Uh, thank you so much for all the insights. I mean, it's great catching up with you, especially at this event. And thank you so much for your time. And thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah.